in this session we are going to learn about the basics of cranial nerves the cranial nerves are 12 pairs of nerves that is seen on the ventral surface of the brain cranial nerves relay information between the brain and other parts of the body each cranial nerve is paired and is present on both sides the first cranial nerve olfactory nerve which is a sensory nerve helps to transmit information to the brain regarding a person's sense of smell. The second one is optic nerve, a sensory nerve which transmits information to the brain regarding a person's vision. The third nerve is oculomotor nerve, which is a motor nerve which helps to control the muscle movements of the eyes. The oculomotor nerve provides movement to most of the muscles that move the eyeball and upper eyelid known as extraocular muscles. The fourth one, trochlear nerve is a motor nerve which is also involved in the eye movement. It powers the contralateral superior oblique muscle that allow the eye to point downward and inward. The fifth one is trigeminal nerve is a mixed nerve. This is the largest cranial nerve. Its motor function helps a person to chew and clench the teeth. Its sensory division has three parts that connect to sensory receptor sites on the face. They are ophthalmic branch which is supplying around the eyes, the maxillary branch which is supplying the upper jaw and mandibular branch which is supplying the lower jaw. The sixth one is adducent nerve is a motor nerve which helps to control the eye movement. It helps the lateral rectus muscle which is one of the extraocular muscle to turn the gaze outward. The seventh one is facial nerve which is a mixed nerve. The facial nerve is made up of four nuclei that serve different functions. They include movement of muscles that produce facial expression, movement of the lacrimal, submaxillary and submandibular glands, the sensation of the external ear and the sensation of the taste. The eighth cranial nerve is vestibular cochlear nerve is a sensory nerve. The vestibular cochlear nerve is involved with a person's hearing and balance. The vestibular nerve helps the buoy to sense the changes in the position of the head with regard to gravity and the cochlear nerve will help with hearing. The ninth cranial nerve is glossopharyngeal nerve is a mixer nerve. The sensory function receives information from the throat, tonsils, middle ear and back of the tongue. Whereas the motor division provide movement to the stylopharyngeus, which is a muscle that allow the throat to shorten and widen. The tenth nerve is vagus nerve, is a mixer nerve. The sensory part provides sensation to the outer part of the ear, the throat, the heart and abdominal organs. It is the longest nerve of the autonomic nervous system in the human body. The motor part provides movement to the throat and soft palate. The parasympathetic function regulates heart rhythm and innervate the smooth muscles in the airway, lungs and GI tract. The 11th cranial nerve is spinal accessory nerve is a motor nerve. The accessory nerve provides motor function to some of the muscles in the neck. It controls the stenocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles that allow a person to rotate, extend and flex the neck and shoulders. The last one is 12th cranial nerve that is hypoglossal nerve. This is a motor nerve that supplies the tongue muscles. It helps in the movement of the tongue required for speech and swallowing, including sticking out the tongue and moving it from side to side. Thanks for watching this channel. Please subscribe for getting more informative videos.